backwards. What's up? I'm just like, why are you taking so long? <laughs> Hurry up. People say that the, main, that the main event is like a, a lottery, which are some people have more tickets than others, you know, based based on how good you are. You know, like Phil Ivey probably has the most tickets, you know, like he might, but even him, you know, if he plays the main event the rest of his life, he probably won't get the final table again. With 7,000 people putting $10,000 up that all have some level of competency, for the most part, you know, it's it's hard to, to get to the final table. So when you do get here, you have to make the most of it. And I think Russell is doing the right thing by really dedicating himself to that. I mean, I don't understand why you wouldn't put all your time into making the most of this opportunity. You're not going to get a chance at this again. It could definitely change my life. Um, getting first or getting eighth, I mean, my life's going to be way different the next 10 years. So. Uh, just huge, huge stakes. Russ made the right decision finding someone that understands these these things. Like, I, I think Russ and I, Russ and I get along really well, and we have a very similar perspective on what is important and what we need to focus on and how we're going to get there. I played with Jason on day four of the main event and I was impressed with his play. I also knew of his reputation and I was looking for a coach for the three months leading up to the final table. So I contacted him on Twitter and uh, he had a lot of great ideas. So we went forward with that. Well, you know, every every year in the summer is the World Series of Poker. There's 60 events they play out at the Rio in Las Vegas, and uh, it's like the Super Bowl of poker, the culmination of which is the 10K main event that everyone knows about, that they see on ESPN, and that they, you know, just, it's the one that everybody knows, that everybody cares about. I don't think it's just another poker tournament. I mean, it's the biggest one of the year. If any poker tournament means something, it's this one. A key part of our of our approach for this final table was going to be running as many practice sessions as we could. I think I wanted an all-in coaching experience because um, I hadn't been playing much the past year, so I really wanted to be sharp for the final table. The cast that I brought in is a pretty diverse group of people, uh, all professional poker players, all guys that I respect a lot, guys that are going to play their best all every day. You know, it's such a grueling process for everyone involved, and it's, it's awesome that these guys come out here to do this. Matt Berkey, Anthony Lombard, um, Jeff Forrest, Jeff Lowe, Christopher Troy, Scott Stewart. And I'm a professional poker player. A professional poker player. Poker enthusiast. Poker pro. A student and semi-professional poker player. Professional poker player. Professional poker player. I'm Jason Somerville and I'm a professional poker player. How many main events have I played? This is my seven. Seven? Five main events. My main event experience has been the first year I went out on day one, second year day two, third year day three, and this year I was positive I was going to go out on day four, but you know, stalled on day three and went out again. I played the main event this year, I got 69th, day six. Uh, my finish wasn't great this year, I finished about 50 out of the money, so like 700. I got 50th this year, so I made day six. I thought I played well the entire tournament and I was definitely on a heater because you don't make the final table without being on a heater. Well, you know, like I, 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 feel, I feel like the main event has uh, the, the main event for new and amateur players and even professionals there's so much pressure with all the cameras and the ESPN crew and the lights and the heat and the long days it's a grueling grueling tournament and it's really truly is a marathon event oh well, I'm sure it enters people's minds um, thinking about the final table the, the fame the glory uh, there's so many factors to consider you know your table draw your trip count you think about the main event, you dream about the main event, so uh, when you get to the final table, I can only imagine how, how exciting it is, and uh, I feel like I would, I would do everything in my power to take the most advantage of it as possible. 
8.5 million is the first this year. First place over eight million dollars and ninth place will end with what they, you know, just the 750,000. I, want, I wanted to get as good as possible before I actually play the final table because it's obviously the most important um, day of my life, I guess, so far. The final table is a dream opportunity. It, the, making the final table would be everything. The final table is it. The final table is the, the dream, probably with the main event, is the dream of any tournament poker player. The final table is, is everything. The final table is everything for a professional tournament player. The, the final table is the biggest opportunity you'll ever get in your life. The final table is the Super Bowl, the World Series, it's the Masters, it's a title fight, it's, it's poker's big event. Uh, it's the last mile of a marathon. It's, it's every sports metaphor I can think of. In poker, this defines your career. Uh, you'll probably only get one shot at it. And if you win, no matter what else you do in this game, that will be the first line in your biography.